And it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. Good morning and happy New Year. Although it's probably not New Year later, later when people watch this, but I blather sometimes, so forgive me. I want to do something I have not done anything exactly like before. And I'm going to start by covering my canvas, my 10 by 20 inch canvas, with some black paint. And that's always kind of risky for me. I'd prefer mostly to either use a already black canvas or let one prime one and let it dry from the day before then assume that it's going to cover everything in one coat of a background color but I want the background to be a catalyst for the colors on top of it so it needs to be wet anyway and I don't want it to be white because I've just done two warm-ups after a few days off and they were white and uh, one of them is good and one of them is going to be a part one and have a part two. I'm pretty certain about that. So I've got glasses and I remembered to put them on my face. I'm going to add a little bit more paint. This is all about my squeeze bottles. This is the colors that I've got and I'm going to call it abstract expressionist art, fluid art, because my intention is to just go as I, is to just as I go along to add whatever colors I want. And in this case, I'd like some funky bands of color that make make you think of a landscape maybe. Layers of, you know, water or air or earth. But they don't have to be any particular color. They can be just pretty colors, which is what I have in mind. And I want to cross some over and use my, yes, I have my medical tubing, um, which anybody could use a bendy straw. And I think is equally as good, if not better. The only reason I use the medical tubing is to attempt to keep my head out of the, uh, out from underneath the camera. So, as usual, I'm going to leave my edges blank and figure that I can fill in black later or that color will fall down over, and I don't know if I'm even going to tip with this. So I want a pretty nice thin layer, but it needs to cover pretty well. So I'm going to hit it one more time with the OXO omelet turning spatula that I have made available on the Amazon link underneath the video along with a bunch of other stuff and if you shop there it helps me out so thank you for that you might find my book there too the um, book is called Because I Can and it's sort of the documentary of the first hundred YouTube videos yeah I gotta stop covering the edges I'm compulsive I'm sorry <laughs> if it's on my spatula I don't really want to put it in the bucket to clean it off until it's until I've used it I hate wasting paint. I just do. Okay, so now for me, I'm not going to try and be sensible at all. I'm just going to take colors I've got and make sure that I have, yep, no Floetrol coming in. And I'm going to start by giving myself an opportunity to blow and see what happens. because I want it kind of flat and I don't want to swipe it yet. I may be swiping with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. And um, I'm going to do that again and put another color there and I'm going to put it kind of, kind of far away so we have less chance of running into each other. There's a double dose there. I'm not sure that was a good idea on my part. But I've got this color shift blue from Folk Art. Actually, I really want some of that up above. And I'm just going to sort of wind it back and forth on either side just to see what happens. In the mixing process. And I've got some dripping down, and I'm going to stick it right back up there. I'm going to have to get funkier with my colors. I think I found some paint. Tooey! Yeah. Okay. I'm over it. Okay, so what do I want? I want to continue with my color shift theme. And playing with different applications that may change up what's happening. 
between the black and the color shift turquoise and the and the shimmering neon purple, which I've probably added golden iridescent medium fine to. It's not medium. It's not called medium. It's golden iridescent fine. I can't seem to quite get past that it isn't a medium and it's not called a paint. It's just it is what it is. And I'm going to stick some of this purple along the bottom, make a slightly more cohesive area. And if I have to black it out because it looks wrong, I will do that. All right, so the pink I think will disappear. But I also don't think it's going to hurt anything to try it in there and see what happens. Because I can. Same with the white pearl, which is over here. Yes, I have not used that today. And I could probably also put some black in there and see what happens. I like my skewer manipulations. I'm just trying to make, you know, what do they call those dogs and cats? Brindles? Just make a mixed mixed bunch of colors that come out pretty together and I like that pink and I'm not sure if it's going to show up or not but I am going to make it use it on the other side. Now I'm kind of glad I didn't put those any closer together because I really want something between them and I'm not sure that it would look right. They're just spreading out pretty nicely, you know. just want a sort of a chevron shaped area and I have this do I want that no I want some of that um, Prussian blue come on out yeah little tiny amount is fine okay little dots as it goes along because the top tip is clicked clogged <laughs> clicked clogged yeah and then I could take some of that and move it down elsewhere and uh, transfer some of the elsewhere back up. And that doesn't bother me because I'm just making a more interesting. Paints are going to react to each other and the different quantities of pouring medium and everything. I'd like to see what yellow would do. I'm kind of a lot nervous about that. I think it would have to be started with white. Maybe white pearl is the way to try that. And I'm just going to go right in the center. Let's see what happens. We've got nothing to lose. All canvases are recyclable. I'm going to start, start short of what I really want because that way if I have to spread it out and add something else to it, I'm okay with that. And I am definitely contemplating using my skewer as a pulling tool. If I don't pull too much, I might have a chance not to uh, muddy my colors in an extreme way, but I think I need more of that white pearl over there. It doesn't really look like anything yet, but maybe it's just going to be a sort of a graphic pattern anyway. Because we can. Because this is like the precursor to figuring out what comes next, basically. That little bit of black isn't being too awful muddying. I've got some nice, whoops, nice red orange. Nothing seems to be coming out awfully well right in the moment. Tips must be clogging up a little bit. I'm at a weird angle. I know I am. That's not too terrible. I'm not sure how I feel about all of that. But I am getting my chevron. Kind of like that down there. I'm going to do it again over here. I follow my same idea of adding white to try and lighten up what's there. 
And I want to find, yes, that magenta with the shimmer in it. Whoops, it comes out really fast. Okay, well, best to pay attention to that next time. And whatever's falling down on my tile can then go on the edge. I'm just going to wipe it right up. I'm just making chevron type stripes, basically. In hopes that I will actually get something closer to what my vision is at some future point. But you never know, it might be very cool if I just keep letting myself go with it. I could actually bend that right in. I think I'm going for yellow. Am I going for yellow? <laughs> I know I'm going for pearl. I'm trying to keep those spaced far enough apart so that when I manipulate them and they spread, that it's not a problem. Now it doesn't matter that I've got a little pink on there, that's not bothering me. Or that it mixes the black and although it is going to be kind of a greeny color if I'm not careful. So I'm going to go back to that orange that I like, which is right over here. We'll also figure out how things sell together on this. Yeah, I was going to go in a different direction across the top, but I'm not sure that that's what I want to do anymore. I do think I want to try and blow again. And if I have plenty of space between every stripe, then I can uh, I can always widen them like you're watching me do now. Which is kind of cool. I have some lighter yellow that I have not used and I think I want to. And this will also tell us if it works on top of black. If it will stay. Or what what the what the deal is if I just roll that a little bit bring enough of that black up so I like that turquoise and I think that that's what's next and I want to make sure that I have the pearl actually I think I'm going to do that I see that chunk. I see you, chunk. Goodbye, chunk. And maybe just a little bit of uh, darker. I keep putting my tops back on, not what I had planned. Okay, so I'm looking for that. Yes, right there. It's not coming out fast, but in this case, it's not a bad thing sort of a controlled flow. What else? I thought I wanted some purple in there. Do I want some purple in there? I'm not sure. I've got some. Maybe not. Maybe let's just see what happens with what we've got. Yeah, that's mixing quite nicely. So much so, I'm contemplating my spatula coming out. Yeah, I love those cells. The deco pouring medium in the Prussian blue creates wonderful cells. Okay, so the pearl is working. I just want to change up my stripe color. Maybe move a little faster. I set my timer this time, thank you. <laughs> and I'm still liking that decor pouring medium in the Prussian blue, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the color that's on my skewer and agitating the paint will not just make patterns but it will pop cells. Very pretty. All right, so I think I'll at least copy that same angle, losing my negative space in between. I don't know if that means I should um, 
add some black back in, in there or what. It does make me want to add some other colors to a few other places. Widen my stripes out just a tad to match sort of thing, which isn't hurting my feelings a bit. And I can do it wherever I want. It's a little tricky because it's not that easy to get to, to go flat on the canvas. But when it works, it's neat. Yeah, that's not really hurting my feelings. <laughs> I like it. It's different. We're looking for something different. Mixing, mixing it up a little bit. We'll see how the colors dry tomorrow. I could just leave it there, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Probably not. So let's just keep going. I'll stay a little further away. See how I'm liking. I'm, I'm so not over the Prussian blue though. allowed my paint to completely swallow my workspace. Let's throw a little more white in there. Decide if there's going to be another color. Yeah, once you get a bead of paint on the edge of your skewer, you can sort of push it toward what you want. Okay, so somewhere around here I had a list, and I'm going to read it to you once. We've got over 400 videos, so if you like what I do, please go right ahead and uh, watch some more. That'd be awesome. We've got 42,000 subscribers. Thank you all. Appreciate that. Um, you can shop on my Amazon link for my book. There's 200 pages and uh, 100 artworks and all my processes and, uh, and tools. I'll fix that edge later. <laughs> I think I want some of this over here. That is, I gotta remember, I trimmed that top out so it's really big. And I have just about enough time to add one last piece, and that's what I wanna do. And what else is on my list? Okay, there's Facebook albums that are the wet and dry artworks from YouTube at the bottom of the description along with my paint pouring recipe and my Pinterest link and my Instagram link and if you guys want to contribute to help keep the studio going you'll be automatically entered as long as your email address is uh, current via PayPal or Patreon the links are also under the video in the description sorry I have to keep working <laughs> it's uh, it's a funky rainbow effect. Yes. Okay, what else? My art is for sale. And please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps my standing, uh, it's more people be able to see my artwork. Um, my videos, rather. And I think I am done, other than the torching. And anything I might want to add has probably just been added. Because I like that red-orange. And there's not a lot else to do. So it is what it is. And it's kind of cool. And I expect we'll get a few cells. And it's pretty much just a variation on stripes. This is Priscilla Batzel at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Saying Happy New Year again. I hope you're having fun. Please watch some more videos and please give me a thumbs up. And I love you guys. Oh, and thank you all for the contributions you kept me painting so far. Really, really appreciate them. I never say that enough. I'm going to look for any little diddlies I might have missed here that are bothering me and <laughs> fix them. And uh, let whatever's going over the side finish going over the side on all sides. And there is enough paint to do that. And this was just squeeze bottles. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for coming. I'll see you in the next video. Priscilla out. Bye for now. I'll just be here touching up.
making sure there's nothing weird in there.